Okay, so I want to make a quick video about uh, food combining with proteins. So I've made videos in the past about food combining. Essentially, um, you never want to combine two proteins together. So don't eat chicken with pork. Actually, don't eat pork at all. <laughs> Duh, uh, don't eat chicken with beef. Uh, don't eat uh, beef with lamb. Don't eat uh, chicken with lamb. Like Keep it to one protein with greens. So by greens, I mean kale or uh, non-starchy uh, vegetables or greens. So kale, onions, leeks, garlic, broccoli, peas, cauliflower. Um, these are all great, incredibly healthy cabbage uh, vegetables to eat with meat. <clears throat> the reason you don't want to combine two, uh, two proteins together is because multiple proteins really confuse the digestive system. We're not meant to eat them together. We're meant to eat, keep it simple. So if you can, have one protein, a small amount, a small modest amount, not a massive chicken, massive chicken breast, but a small piece, probably like two inches by two inches at the most, um, with a ton of greens, equally that much greens, and um, non-starchy vegetables. And uh, a couple, if you need to have two different types of meat in the same day for whatever reason, then, then space them apart. Put some carbohydrates in the middle there, like have the meat for breakfast and then have it for dinner. And... Um, the idea that we should have cereal for breakfast or milk for breakfast or something like that is just, we've been deceived by the marketing, uh, marketing Nazis. It's perfectly healthy and normal to have a, a small amount of organ meat with greens for breakfast or for dinner or whatever you want. Forget what anybody told you about what to have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and just have what your body wants. Listen to what your body wants.